Hi, it's Sam here and I'm back for another workout, but today is a Christmas special and I'm in a different gym. This is the Chapel Gym in Corby, so it is actually a converted church that was made into a gym. Surprisingly well equipped. They've got the Christmas music going, not sure if that's useless for training, but it is a Christmas special because gyms are closed around here for the next two days. If you are in London where I normally train, I know that Legends in Haringey is open tomorrow but this is my last session in the gym for a couple of days for Christmas. So I'm gonna do a bit of whatever I like. So it's gonna be a bit of a bro workout. I think chest, uh, then a bit of chest, then a little bit more chest, maybe arms and whatever I feel like at the end and then wrap it up. So if you managed to train today, well done as well. I'm not gonna be working too hard. I'm gonna be having fun with it. And this is the last workout for a few days, but the channel will continue. So consider subscribing if you like all the rest of my stuff and a very Merry Christmas. So the first exercise I'm gonna use is the hammer strength isolateral horizontal press. So it's basically a bench press, but each side is working independently and it's on this mechanism here. And that's one of the disadvantages with the bench press is that it doesn't really converge where your pectorals are working like this where it pulls, it pulls across, but it does in this. And this actual model converges a lot more than the hammer strength one in zone that I'm used to. So I'm starting with three plates and just tilt it down there and get started now. It certainly feels different to the one that I'm used to and could be more beneficial for me. I think we can try four plates there. So I've got my four plates on now and what someone's done with this machine, which is quite normal to do and definitely recommended, is put a plate underneath, or well they put a 10 plate on this, this instance, underneath the brake that goes down onto the floor. Because what you find with these machines is without something raising it a bit for the brake to hit it sooner, and it comes down and stretches on the packs like far too much and could be injurious. So those were in place when I found it. That's definitely a good idea. And I'm going to try not to embarrass myself with four plates each side now. Set two. One thing I do find awkward about these compared to a flat bench is how far backwards or how forwards you go with your, with your torso up and down the bench here. So I sometimes find myself adjusting a little bit during the first couple of reps when I use this sort of machine. <laughs> Try that again with four plates each side. Set three. Oh. Set three. Ah. Oh. And for the fourth set, I've gone back to three plates because I wasn't getting full extension there. And uh, even though the stretched part of the motion is more beneficial, I'm still not getting an awful lot on those last couple of reps. So I've dropped it down for this last set. There you go. Oh. Oh. So 
now I'm doing an incline press on the Smith machine. Now, because that's the dodgy angle for me at the moment and I'm generally working around it, I'm finding it safer on the Smith machine. I've got the stoppers on here. And I went back to all the old John Meadows mountain bike on YouTube, the John Meadows videos. They're awesome if you haven't seen them. And he suggests with the incline barbell work, whether it's Smith machine or free weight spar bowl, to not come down all the way, come down to about the chin height. And I've been playing with that and found it a lot easier. So that's what I've set up on here. And I'm going steady on the weight. It's just one and a half plates. And I put the stoppers, the safety stoppers in place so that they'll stop me if I'm going lower than that, that designated height that I've started experimenting with. And it's working well for me. So I would recommend if you've uh, had the shoulders playing up that you consider stuff like that as an option for your incline work to keep it going. Set two. still quite tricky for me. I'm just going to do one more set and then move on to some isolation and decline work on chest. So it's the same order of things as I'd normally do, making sure to cover all angles, but as I'm in a different place, it's an opportunity to show you some different machines like uh, that particularly good ISO horizontal one, different model to my usual one. This is a particularly good Smith machine actually. I prefer the straight up and down ones to the ones that are on a slight diagonal. I find that very strange to deal with. But this is one of the normal ones and it's got different, three different options to where, where the peg for the safety stopper can and set on. So you can get it the exact height you want it on the safety stopper, which isn't always possible. So this is a particularly good machine. And I do know this place is really well equipped. So it's a good place for my last workout before couple of rest days over Christmas. Stuff. I'm doing a chest fly on the machine, the flat fly machine that's also a rear delt one. It's quite a common combo. Normally, I'd recommend to people to do all the decline work um, first before the isolations. But for me, I tend to do this first to make the decline harder because I normally find my decline exercises too easy because I spent so long on weighted dips. I had about a year where, where I was training in a particular gym a really rickety, crappy bench press, and so my main exercise I'd already start with was the dipping bars, which were good, and a weight belt, which I put like three or four plates on. I got really strong dips, and it just uses like all my triceps, which were a strong point anyway, and not so much my chest. So I'm finding I have to like train chest a little bit more before hitting the decline work kind of ever since. But that's what I do. I sort of feel like Every routine should be somewhat personalised to your strengths, weaknesses, what you're trying to bring up, what your previous experience was and what happened, any injuries, all sorts of factors. It's only really when you knew that you just take a programme out of the box. So I'm going to get started with this. Look, the pointer I just remembered on this exercise is to get the seat right high, because if seat right height correct. Because if you have it too low, it tends to bring in your front belts more than your chest so I make sure to have it quite high so that the hands are crossing right in front of the chest it's when they cross like up here it starts to bring 
the anterior deltoid in. So I want the seat high enough that the hands are going to be here at the end and it's all in front of my chest and less the shoulder as you can see. So hopefully I've got this, that right on this machine. I'm going to do the first set now. Put it to 84, 84 kilos. It's quite a bit to fly, so I'll have half a minute rest. Set two. It's more like it. look at that weight again you know take it up to 105 or it's only Christmas once a year and I know what the public wants I know what the people want I could try the full stack and maybe embarrass myself as it is my third exercise you know what let's set up again and I'll do that so this is what it's come to ego lifting in a stupid pattern on Christmas Eve here goes Please, that. that was a legit set. <laughs> Give me a rest and I'll do it again. Jim's getting a little bit busier now. You know what? I think it's probably a good idea that I touch some heavier weights now and then just to try it. So I sort of surprise myself there. Sometimes you don't know until just get on with it. Anyway, last set here. I'll make it a good one. Okay, seven and a half. Okay, next up is the hammer strength isolateral decline. So it's that decline angle. Had a little dabble with the decline bench press on the free weight bar, but it's felt very stretching on the, on the left side. So I'm just being careful. I'm gonna use this because I'm not pushing straight against gravity with this kind of a machine. Starting on three plates should be pretty straightforward, but I'm going to put the little seat belt on that they got here, just so I don't slip. I'm not expecting to be able to take it up and start trapping this first set, but as I haven't used this machine before, I need to check it a little bit first. So set one.
That was okay. I feel like it needs just another ten on each side. Oh. 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 I have to admit. That was a little bit much after all, I'm struggling for the 10th one now, right, properly. So we'll take it back down to where we was. It's getting to that point in the workout really, fourth exercise, almost all I'll do for, for chest before moving on. But I'll do one more on here. I'll do one more on here. I'm just about I've got my breath back by the time I'm plugged in. And then we'll see what else this place has got to offer. And if I'm thinking chest done, then maybe a little look at something else while I'm here. As I won't get to train for two days, I'll be off with my family. Last one here then. Little work on the partials there at the end. Little intensifier to finish things off if that's gonna be all it's gonna be for today for chest, quite possibly. Okay, as it's Christmas, I've decided just to keep it low and have a bit of fun and train biceps now. And as I'm in the chapel, why not do the preacher curls? So, preacher curl machine, but hammer strength, and I quite like this one. I prefer the spider curls for that kind of angle, but I've shown that in a video already, and it's a similar kind of angle with the elbow in front of the body which is generally targeting more the inner head of the biceps anyway i've got 50 kilos on now and this uh, bro special workout for christmas so i'm gonna enjoy this Perhaps. Got one right here, luckily. Put that on, take it up to 60. I could be bullshitting you because I don't think you can even see those works on the on the video there. That's not too bad, trust me. When arms are all fresh, and it's only really the triceps that have been a bit used in those compound exercises, chest there, biceps are pretty fresh. It's no big deal. For set two. That was a lot harder though. <laughs> I do really like those arm workouts where you hit biceps and triceps though, and especially when you've got all angles like I've covered in some of my other videos. So definitely have a look at this one if you haven't seen it already. Or we'll take a look at this one as well. That's also a really good full arms workout that I've put, put on this channel. Showing you all angles with biceps and triceps. 
But here it's just a little add-on because I've got the days off anyway, so I can basically train what I want and enjoy it before Christmas. I'll probably do one more bicep exercise after this. And then have a little wrap-up at the end. So if we just turn this down now, and see the exercise a little more clearly. I'll do this set this way. Set three. Now that was pretty much just my forearms, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I know for next time. We'll move on to the next exercise and then wrap it up. So I've decided I'm going with the rope hammer curl. It's easy enough as a finisher. So it's much heavier. So just added on a couple of extra exercises there for biceps. So it's now getting really busy in the gym because so I suppose this is everyone's last chance before Christmas and they close here at four. The only one that I'm aware of still open back in London would be Legends in Haringey that I might have gone to if I wasn't home for Christmas. So this is it for the workouts for a couple of days. So I'm going to have a well-earned rest, I think. But leave it to me on the YouTube. There'll still be a video every day. I've got a couple of great ones in mind, so stay tuned for those. One of them is going to be about diet planning from someone's height, weight, and statistics and goals. So I'm going to do that in front of you, like all laid out on the computer. we will be showing you the calculations and how I plug foods into a food plan for like a week one for someone. So that's coming up in the next few days. Um, got another Q&A in the pipeline because I'm still receiving lots of your questions and that's very helpful for me for the content and hopefully helpful to you with my answers. I know I can ramble on with them sometimes but I've been enjoying making those so all that's to come. I'll be back in some sort of gym somewhere probably from the 27th, 28th, possibly in London but I don't know yet but I know a lot of you that follow me are training like all the way through so good luck with all of that. I hope, uh, hope my content's been interesting and as I say it's been really fun with you all this year. I've really enjoyed making these and it's going to progress through Christmas and into the new year. I've really enjoyed this video as well even though the music's extremely loud and I'm finding it a little hard to concentrate. Got some good lifts in there. I was really pleased with the chest isolation so I think I maybe wasn't pushing myself hard enough on that sort of thing. I'm going to restructure that in my plan. Anyway, I'll stop waffling on about my progress now and I wish you all the best for yours in the new year. Do let me know if I can help you. I'm on Instagram, same name, at Physique Philosopher on Instagram if you follow there and shoot me a message there. I'll see how I can, how I can help you. And if you like this to YouTube, please consider subscribing or checking out my videos that are coming up on the next outro slide. Merry Christmas. Take care.